In this video, I'm going to try and show you guys why I am all in on Claude and why I've completely stopped using ChatGPT. Well, I say completely stopped, but like I still occasionally use ChatGPT for certain things. Now, one of the main reasons is that it's actually just far more intelligent. Claude Opus, when I'm when I'm talking about Claude in this channel on um in this video, I'm talking about Claude Opus. I'm not talking about the other Claude models. I'm specifically talking about Claude Opus. So the first thing we can do is we're going to send the same prompt to ChatGPT and Claude. I've done this test on this video before, but I do want to quickly talk about the popularity of Claude. Now, this very clearly shows that when Opus was released, there was a big spike. But last time, you know, like there was a Claude release here, it instantly went back down again, which means that the model was most likely not better than ChatGPT or better than the alternatives. This time, however, you can see that the, the spike down is much lower, which means that there is more retention, there is more people talking about the tool, and it seems that the tool is actually pretty popular this time. So I find this super, super interesting. This Google Trend thing is very, very interesting. Anyway, let's talk about the prompt. Now, the prompt that I did is about black tie attire. If you don't know, if you go to a black tie attire event, you pretty much have to wear a tuxedo, a bow tie, a white shirt, black trousers, and black shoes. Now, you can get away with certain other colors. So, for example, like, a, like you saw just before, if you're Donald Glover, you can get away with wearing, um, I guess this is brown, a brown, um, you know, some other color. You can get away with burgundy, uh, dark blue, uh, white. Mm, I probably wouldn't go with white personally, but you can get away with white. But you would never wear a normal suit, okay? You, you cannot wear a normal suit to a black tie attire, attire event. So that's the important thing here. So let's have a look at the products chosen. So it ha actually hasn't even given me the links here, which is quite interesting. So this is a normal suit. You would not wear suede um, shoes. They're probably sneakers as well because Barb and Napoli only sell sneakers. Uh, you would not wear a gilet. These are smoking, so you could wear these. You could probably wear blue pants because nobody would notice that they're not actually specifically smoking pants. Probably. This is a f this is a th this is a sweater. You could not wear this. You could not wear this. You could not wear this. You can't. Uh, maybe a white linen shirt is okay. It depends if it's short sleeve or not. And you can't wear this. So out of 10, you can wear one of these products, which means in the first test, ChatGPT got one out of 10. Let's have a look at Claude. Okay, I've actually got to run the prompt again because Claude is so strict that it said that there are no items in the list that would fit a strict black tie tire event because all of them have patterns or, you know, it can't find tuxedos. So, number one, hit on black wool dress pants smoking. This is a yes. You can definitely, definitely, definitely wear these pants. You can definitely wear this. That is a smoking jacket. So that's two out of 10. So it's already better. Uh, you can't wear this because it looks like it's a normal suit. So that's still two out of 10. Three out of 10. They are a pair of Cesare Attalini wool smoking pants. That's completely fine. Let's see if this white shirt... I mean, it's kind of hard for Chachi, uh, sorry for Claude to know whether this is just a plain white shirt or not. So we'll give this a pass because it does say Finamore white cotton shirt, um, which is technically correct. So that's 4 out of 10. Burgundy leather belt, you could definitely wear this. So that's 6 out of 10. Let's have a look at these shoes again. I don't know what's going on here with... Uh... With the images so we'll say six out of ten this looks like a bow tie which we can definitely give a pass to so let's actually have a look at this bow tie oh yeah no there is no bow tie get on black silk bow tie let's have a look there's no product link and then a luigi borelli white uh, yellow linen shirt you could not wear this I would say probably 6 out of 10. I don't know if these are real, though, or if it's just inventing things now. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes Claude, if there isn't enough of something, it will just invent stuff. So what we can quickly do is we can search for Kiton Silk Bow Tie. 
and see if there actually is a black bow tie. So we have Zilly, but it doesn't look like there's any kit on. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there is actually a bow tie, but I do know that we do sell kit on bow ties, so I don't really know where they are. <laughs> oh, there we go, ties and bow ties. Then we'll go... So I just want to see if this is actually a real product or whether it's just made it up. So there are actually no black uh, bow ties or ties. So yeah, it, it has made it up. That's okay though. It does do that very occasionally. So we won't hold it against it. So if you tried to write this article within the API, okay, you would have five products that fit and then a couple of made up products. Now the made up products are not a massive deal. You can easily edit them out. That's what we're doing. Um, just a comparison guys, the amount of content we were writing per day was about six articles per day um, a week ago. Now we can do like 20 uh, with this Claude system, just because Claude is so much better at choosing products. Okay, that's the first test. Now I want to do another test, a much more important test for me personally. Actually, no, it's not more important. The first one I just showed you was the most important test that you could possibly do. But I do want to show you another test that I've been playing around with. Um, which is important for me. So I have this, which is a list of basically four pages that make up my um, dashboard that I've been working on for craft. And I'm going to say, please fix. Um... Okay, so I've said, please fix, and then please write out all the code of any pages you change. So it says deny feedback, modal doesn't work, special feedback, blah, blah, blah. So if I press submit, what it will probably do, unless it's going to prove me wrong in this video and I'm going to kind of look stupid, is it will just give me snippets of code that are basically impossible to copy into my actual code. So you can see it's doing exactly the same thing on the front end of ChatGPT and on the back end. It's given me you know, three code snippets that I then have to work out where they go, how to put them in, whether I'm putting them in correctly, where to put them, everything. It's just kind of complicated. It's kind of annoying. And I, I actually really don't like how ChatGPT has started to code. Now, until a day ago, Claude would never do that. However, I think since they had such a massive increase in demand, they've been struggling and so I think they've actually reduced the token output or the system prompt or something has changed a little bit. But I, I guarantee the answer will still be better than, than this. This is just so annoying. If I'm working on loads of different things at once, I don't have time to think like, oh, I need to find this. I need to find this. Where does this go? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's actually very, very annoying. On the other hand, you can see it has done it like this where it said rest of code here. However, it's just a bit easier, okay? All I need to do, and it even says, look, here's adminroots.js, and then all I need to do is look for the approved content bit, and then just change that, okay? But now, just watch this. Please write out any pages in full. Oh my God, I've got a meeting in five minutes. Please write out any pages in full that um, you have changed. Okay, so I'm going to have to wrap this up, guys. I was going to do another test, but apparently I have a meeting in five minutes. I didn't even know about, so that's nice. So let's see if it manages to do this with ChatGPT. Is this going to be the only time in... I was begging ChatGPT to write this out in full. Oh, yeah, look, it's not doing it. This is so annoying because, like... You can't do anything with that. <laughs> Look at that. How annoying is that? Honestly, how annoying is that? Now, let's do the same thing to Claude. Watch this. I'm literally going to say, do not say, write out all code so I can copy and paste. Like, you can you can say this 50,000 times to ChatGPT. It's not going to make any bloody difference. Just watch. I've clearly said, do not say this. Write out the whole code. I think that's pretty clear what I wanted to do, right? Well, Claude and ChatGPT are being slow today. So this is 
ChatGPT's amazing response. It's one of the pages that it changed with hardly any of the code required to actually make it work. And I've literally, like, I've literally said, do not say this. And what does it do? Like, is this, th this is some kind of joke. The reason they're doing this, I believe, don't quote me on this, but the reason they're doing this is to save output tokens. Let's see Claude instead. Let's see how it's doing. So you can see here what it's done is it's written out the entire admin dashboard, the entire admin roots, and the entire content generator.js. Okay? That is such a big difference. It's so important because I cannot code. Okay? I can't be bothered coding. So I actually need this kind of content. Okay? I need it to be fully written out because I, I can't code. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I wanted to just make this video to explain why I've basically stopped using ChatGPT and I'm only using Claude now. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, I don't know what you're doing uh, watching an 11-minute video all the way to the end, but you're an absolute legend. Have a good day, and I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.